Chapter 16 Regional Kingdoms Second Let's learn Regional Kingdoms Vijayanagar Empire The Bahamani Kingdom After the Delhi Sultanate many regional powers came into being some were under the Sultanate rule but when the Delhi Sultanate weakened these provinces became independent kingdoms two prominent and powerful kingdoms which emerged were Vijayanagar and Bahamani we will study about them in this chapter. Kashmir During the early medieval period, Kashmir was under the rule of Hindu kings. Its first Muslim ruler was Shah Amir, 14th century. The most famous sultan of Kashmir was Zain ul Abidin, also known as Bud Shah, great king. He practiced religious tolerance and allowed the Hindus to return to Kashmir. He was popularly known as the Akbar of Kashmir and was a man of learning. He encouraged agriculture, arts and crafts. Kashmir later became a part of the Mughal Empire under Akbar in the late 16th century. Marwad The kingdom of Marwad was ruled by the Rathors. It had territories around the city of Jodhpur, the Mehrangar Fort and the city of Jodhpur were founded by King Jodha. Maldeva was another notable ruler of the kingdom. Mewar The Sisodia Rajputs reigned in Mewar. Rana Hamir and Rana Kumbh were able kings who made Mewar very strong. Rana Sangha was the most powerful ruler of Mewar, who successfully fought against the rulers of Malwa, Gujarat and Delhi and annexed parts of Malwa. He was defeated by Babur in 1527 in the Battle of Khanua. In Fohive, it is said that Rana Kumbh of Mewar was a great builder and patron of learned people. Jaunpur During the reign of Feroz Shah Tughlaq, Malik Sarwar, the governor of Jaunpur, took advantage of Timur's invasion in 1398. He declared his independence, ascended the throne with the title Malikus Shark and founded the Sharki dynasty. The most powerful Sharki ruler was Ibrahim Shah Sarki, who made Jaunpur a center of learning. In 1484, Bello Lodi conquered Jaunpur. Brain Tickler Can you tell the other two names by which Mandu city was known in the past? Bengal Bengal was an important center for overseas trade. As it was far away from Delhi, the governors of Bengal revolted frequently. Under the Ilyas Shahi dynasty 1342-1415, it was united and turned into a strong power. Bengal was ruled by Tughlaq sultans, after which Ilyas Shahi and Hussain Shahi reigned here in the 14th and 15th centuries. In the 16th century, the Mughals annexed the kingdom of Bengal. Malwa The kingdom of Malwa was founded by Dilawar Khan in 1401. He too declared independence after Timur's invasion. One of its greatest rulers was Hushang Shah, who constructed the beautiful city of Mandu. He fought several battles with the neighboring kingdoms, Delhi, Jaunpur and Gujarat. Sher Shah later acquired Malwa. Gujarat In 1407, Gujarat formally declared its independence from the crumbling Delhi Sultanate and Muzaffar Shah became the Sultan. Ahmad Shah, Mahmud Shah, Bigara, and Bahadur Shah were the prominent rulers here. Akbar later annexed Gujarat in the 16th century. Khandesh Raja Ahmad, also called Malik Raja, was the first independent ruler of Khandesh. His successor Nasir Khan built the town of Burhanpur. Later the rulers of Gujarat annexed Khandesh. Burhanpur was conquered by Akbar in 17th century, 1601. Vijayanagar Empire Harihara and Bukha founded the kingdom of Vijayanagar in 1336 CE. They were feudatories of the Kakatiyas of Warangal. When the kingdom of Warangal was overrun by the armies of Gyasuddin Tughlaq, in 1323, the brothers shifted base to Kampili. Here they entered into the service of the local rulers, when the Tughlaqs conquered Kampili, the brothers were captured. They were later sent to South India to crush the rebellions there. Later they rebelled against Muhammad bin Tughlaq and declared their independence. They built Vijayanagar, city of victory, and made it their capital. Harihara and Bukha 
Harihara ruled for 20 years after he ascended the throne in 1336 CE. He was succeeded by Buka who ruled till 1377. The brothers fought against the Mysore and Madurai kingdoms. Buka captured the latter and annexed its territories. This way a large part of South India came under his control. Brain Tickler Who was Tenali Raman? Why was he important to Krishna Dev Rai? Dynasties The kingdom of Vijayanagar lasted for 230 years. King Zirayas from three main dynasties ruled the kingdom. Sangam dynasty 1336 to 1485, Salua dynasty 1485 to 1505, Tuluva dynasty 1505 to 1565. The most powerful king of Vijayanagar was Krishna Dev Rai, who ruled from 1509 to 1530 CE. He defeated the armies of the Bahamani Sultan and also conquered the very fertile Raichur Doab, the area between Krishna and Tungabhadra rivers. His kingdom covered the whole of South India and is said to be the most prosperous in the whole of India. He took interest in overseas trade, maintaining trading relations with the Portuguese, the Dutch and the British. He also paid attention to agriculture by building several dams, tanks and canals for better irrigation. He was a man of learning, who himself composed a poem called Amukta Malayada in Telugu. Administration The regional kingdoms were not as politically stable and strong as the Delhi Sultanate. The supreme power was in the hands of the king. A council of ministers assisted him. The empire was divided into Mandalam's provinces, Nadu's districts, Sthala's sub-districts and Gram's villages. Local self-government, once strong and organized under the Chola rule, deteriorated and village administration became feudal in nature. Administrative posts also became hereditary and the king became more and more dependent on feudal lords for governance and military matters. Infohive Niccolo Conti and Domingo Pais were two of the travelers who visited and described the capital city of Hampi and life of the people in those times. Economic Conditions Vijayanagar Kingdom gradually became the most prosperous in whole of India. Their sources of revenue were agriculture, trade and commerce. Revenue was levied according to the fertility of the land. Apart from this, there were other taxes as well, such as on property, sale of goods, profession, marriage, etc. Trade roads and canals also improved. Overland and overseas trade flourished. Fall of the Empire After the death of Krishna Dev Rai, the later rulers of this kingdom could not hold out for long against the aggressive neighboring kingdoms Ahmadnagar, Bijapur and Golconda which united and defeated it in 1565 in the Battle of Talikota. The Bahamani Kingdom The Bahamani Kingdom was founded in 1347 CE by Alauddin Hassan who was an officer under Muhammad bin Tughlaq. He had come to prominence in the service of a high official named Gangu and was hence known as Hassan Gangu. He took the title of Alauddin Bahaman Shah, hence the name Bahamani Kingdom. This dynastic rule lasted for 180 years till 1520. Its territory comprised of the whole of northern Deccan up to river Krishna. The first capital was at Gulbarga which remained so till 1424 after which the capital was shifted to Bidar. It had to continuously wage battles with the Vijayanagar kingdom and Varangal in the south. It also annexed Varangal. Firosha Bahamani and Mahmud Gavan were the most powerful nobles in the kingdom. Infohive Gol Gumbas, the largest dome in the world at Bijapur, and Char Minar, located at Hyderabad, are world-famous examples of the Bahamani architecture. Firoz Shah Bahamani 1397-1422 Firoz Shah was the most powerful ruler of this kingdom. He annexed some of the Gond territories, defeating Narsin Rai. He also conquered the Raichur Doab from Vijayanagar, though he later lost it. He was a learned man, interested in science. 
He also knew Persian, Arabic, Turkish, Telugu, Kannada and Marathi. Deccan became a cultural center in his time. Mahmud Gavan 1463 to 1481 Mahmud Gavan was the wazir of the Bahmani king Muhammad Shah the 3rd a Persian by birth he came and settled in the Deccan and began serving in the royal court soon becoming the Bahmani king's favorite he ably managed the kingdom's affairs for 18 years expanding the kingdom and restructuring the administration A patron of learning he was a scholar of mathematics and literature he also encouraged the use and development of urdu and built a magnificent madrasa at bidar who attracted students from across the country and abroad the madrasa's library had a collection of over 3000 valuable manuscripts administration the administration was headed by the wazir or wakil while amiri jumla head of finance and the wazir ashraf head of foreign affairs and sadr jahan head of religious and judicial department were the other senior officials the kingdom was divided into many provinces called taraf which was under the amir or tarafdar mahmud gavan was the chief minister of sultan mahmud shah the 3rd he reorganized the civil and military administration and regulated revenue efficiently Unfortunately he was a Persian and was disliked by the local nobles who plotted against him they murdered him in 1481 the constant wars with Vijayanagar and other kingdoms weakened the Bahmani state and by 1527 it broke up into five kingdoms Bijapur Adil Shahi rulers Golconda Qutb Shahi rulers Ahmednagar Nizam Shahi rulers Bidar Barid Shahi rulers and Berar Later Bidar was annexed by Bijapur and Berar by Ahmednagar all these kingdoms eventually became part of the Mughal empire in the 16th century recap the kingdoms of Kashmir Marwar Mewar Jaunpur Bengal Malwa Gujarat Khandesh Vijayanagar and Bahmani were the powerful regional kingdoms in the 14th and 15th centuries after Delhi Sultanate became weak Krishna Dev Raya was the most powerful ruler of Vijayanagar who ruled over the whole of South India. Trade and agriculture prospered during this period and were the chief sources of revenue. The kingdoms constantly fought with one another and consequently weakened themselves. The Bahmani kingdom was founded in 1347 CE by Hasan Gangu. This kingdom collapsed in early 16th century.